के हर एक पिंजरा उड़ चले आसमान की ओर चाहे लाख लगा ले कोई बंदिशे तोड़ दो तो हर एक छोर करना है हर सपने को पूरा बस ठान ले एक बार हर मुश्किल हल होगी जब इरादा होगा तुम्हारा कठोर एजुकेशन इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल वेपन दैट कैन टर्न विजन इनटू रियलिटी वंस देयर वाज अ विजन द विजन बिलोंग्ड टू स्वामी दयानंद सरस्वती व्हिच वाज टर्न्ड इनटू रियलिटी बाय महात्मा हंस राज एंड देन पायनियर्ड इन दिस वेरी सीक्रेट एंड हिस्टोरिकल लैंड ऑफ ओडिशा बाय डॉक्टर ए एन खोसला and that vision today withstands as dayanand anglo vedic public school in unity inculcating in its students the thirst for knowledge devotion of duty honesty patriotic devour besides humanism the strength and the success of our alma mater lie in the harmonious blend of science and technology and sound grounding of ancient vedic culture This phenomenal day of 27 August marks the 52nd anniversary of the establishment of this fine institution which has been the home not just to academic stalwarts but also to series of trail blazers who have revolutionized the field of science politics literature commerce and entertainment this red brick stands witness to 51 years of success stories series of achievements which have made this institution an invincible being the radiant torch of education lighted brightly by the visionary principal ma'am mrs upr vithal raja was received by the charismatic principal ma'am mrs dr bhagyapati nayak and is being raised high by the paramount the mainstay our beloved principal ma'am mrs ipshita das कुछ परिंदे उड़ रहे हैं आंधियों के सामने उनमें ताकत ना सही हौसला होगा जरूर इसी तरह आगे बढ़ते रहे तो देखना तय समंदर तक एक दिन फासला होगा जरूर 
On this joyous occasion and magnificent evening, I, Bhumika Das, the school leader, on behalf of the entire proud DAV United fraternity, extend my warm welcome to the Honorable Chief Guest and all other esteemed dignitaries, invitees, and my fellow DAVians to the 52nd Foundation Day celebration. I congratulate all of you connected to this prestigious institution and beyond for successfully completing 51 years of glory and success. With the ideals of Sri Dayanand Saraswati and Mahatma Hansraj, 51 years back on this momentous day of 27 August 1971, the legendary DAV move movement was pioneered in Odisha by the Padma Vibhushan Ayan Khosla only with a handful of 18 students and four teachers. Sage of persistence, perseverance and success. This temple city Bhuvneshwar stands witness to the giant leaps of the alma mater from the baby steps of five decades ago. The saga of DAV Public School Unity, which started with tirelessly dedicated and soulfully devoted teachers, always unfurls new pages and accolades and continues to turn goals into milestones. 51 years indeed, a moment of nostalgia. But for me, DAV Unity is as young and scintillating as ever. Now proceeding with this pious evening, as per the custom, I humbly request our honorable dignitaries to light the holy lamp amidst the chanting of the Vedic mantras, which shall dispel the darkness of ignorance and mark the beginning of this auspicious evening. Ma'am, oh. sir, please. Jate Agna Prajoli Tadipam Deepa Jyoti Nashayati Tamaha Jyoti Gyanam Udaya Karakam Namama Deva Tritap Hadakam Om Bhakritund Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kurume Deva Sarva Karya Su Sarvada Om Shanti 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 I request the August gathering to rise up for our sacred anthem, the DAV Gan. Aviral Nirmal Salil Sadae Gyan Pradayani Jyotir Mai O Chahun Dishi Udkosh Abhay Thiye Vijay Jai Thiye Vijay Jai 
प्रबल प्रवाह मई नित नूतन जीवन दायिनी सदा सनातन वेद प्रणीता परम पुनीता ये धारा अक्षय पिए भी जय जय पिए भी जय जय दयानंद से प्रेम भक्ति ले हंस राज से त्याग शक्ति ले धर्म भक्ति का राष्ट्र शक्ति का हो दिन मान उदय पिए भी जय जय पिए भी जय जय सुख समृद्धि इसकी लहरे प्रेम शांति इसके तट ठहरे सघन शांति में प्रबल क्रांति में लिए अटल निश्चय पिए भी जय जय पिए भी जय जय Once again, a very good evening to the August gathering. I, Bhumika Das, the school leader of this prestigious institution, DAV Public School Unitate, along with Anjali Mishra, Rishita Mohanty, Sanvi Samal, and Priyasha Anupama. Welcome everyone to this magnificent evening ahead. From now on. together we shall carry forward this evening's proceedings rakh hausla wo manzar bhi aayega pyase ke paas chal kar wo samandar bhi aayega tu thak kar na baith ae manzil ke musafir kyunki manzil bhi milegi aur milne ka maza bhi aayega every time the powerful words and the melodious tune of the dav anthem sung in unison sends a chill in all of our spine and lives everyone spellbound kisi ne theek kaha tha ki utho to aisa ki fakr ho bulandi ko jhuko to aisa ki bandagi bhi nas kare all great work is the fruit of patience and perseverance combined with a tenacious concentration on a subject over period of months and years the credit of 51 years of success goes to so many great personalities leaders and patrons one of those strong pillars is our revered chairman sir whose warm gentle and inspiring words has offered us guidance and encouragement in every field sir we are highly grateful to you for so generously blessing us with our valuable time i kindly request sir shri vijay kumar patnaik chairman school managing committee former chief secretary of the state to render the welcome address on this occasion of foundation day and enlighten us with his inspiring words sir please i request ms samikya swai the assistant school leader to escort sir good evening ladies and gentlemen i feel honored and humbled to be amidst you today to welcome the dignitaries and everybody who is present here at the outset it's my privilege to welcome 
श्री अवसर बेहरिया सर द चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ द इवनिंग ए वेरी वेल नोन डिप्लोमेट हु हैज सर्व्ड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड इन इंपॉर्टेंट कंट्रीज यूएसए यूएसएसआर जापान म्यांमार वट हैव यू आई वेलकम हिम टू आवर मिड्स बिकॉज ही इज अवर चीफ गेस्ट and we are looking forward to his speech today which i'm sure bears the experience of long years of being in a position in a unique position which you and i probably do not have the position to have a world view of things literally i welcome you sir to this function i am greatly touched by the presence of my boss and my guru sri ramakant rath who has very kindly taken his time out to be amidst us not only does the state of odisha recognize him as a very able administrator a no nonsense administrator which i can say as his subordinate but greater still is his achievement as a poet people may forget what kind of an administrator he was but people will never forget what kind of a poet he was and he continues to be i welcome you sir to our midst with great sense of pride I also welcome the chairman of the different schools Sri Sharad Chandra Mishra chairman DAB school Chandrasekharpur Sri Madan Mohan Panda chairman DAB school Kalinganaga Dr Arun Kumar Rath chairman Pokhariput I also welcome Dr K C Satpathi in the same breath because all these people whose names i have just now uttered are the beacons of the dav parivar they have been associated with the dav movement in our state and what we see today is to a great extent due to their contribution so i welcome all of you gentlemen i also take this opportunity to welcome mr jordan who has joined recently i'm told as the accountant general of odisha he is charged with the responsibility of keeping the government on its toes but we welcome him here as a parent and as a very enthusiastic member of the dav family thank you mr jordan thank you mrs jordan may i take this opportunity to welcome the principals of the different dav schools from chandrasekharpur to pokhri port to kalinganaga i welcome the parents of our students without whose enthusiastic support this school could not have been as successful as it is today not only have they supported us financially their hard work behind the scene and their encouragement to the students has definitely helped the school to achieve the the heights that we have today last but not the least i welcome the students who are actually the stars of this firmament for the last two years the school was looking so desolate a school does not consist of only a building or a couple of buildings or furniture or this electrical fixtures or a playground without all of you the school is not a school it is you who have made the school what it is and what a glorious achievement all of you have made in the last 
51 years. This school was established while I was still a young officer in the Indian Administrative Service. But the moment this school was established, thanks to a personality like Sri Rajadhyanath Khosla, when such a school came to our city, all of us had a lot of hope and expectation. And believe you me, ladies and gentlemen, these expectations have been more than fulfilled. A city is known by its schools and its hospitals. Today, Bhubaneswar is known by the DAV schools. So, not only are the DAV schools of Bhubaneswar icons of civilization, if I may put it that way, they are one of the brightest schools in the entire country in the DAV family. So once again, I congratulate all of you. My job will not be complete if I do not place on record the contribution of the teachers over the years, whose diligence, whose dedication, whose application to duty, and whose example has put DAV where it is today. I'm sure 52 years, 51 years, will not end here. I'm sure we are marching towards the century. And when we complete the century, DAV school would be not only the best in Bhubaneswar, it will be probably the best in the entire country. Before I leave the stage, I just have a word for my dear students. You are all bright students. I see your photographs on the board. I read about you. I hear about you everywhere for your performance as students. You are wonderful students. You are everywhere. You are very successful people in life. But as I keep saying, it's not enough to be just successful. You have to be good people. And that is the hallmark of a DAV school. A DAVN is not only competent, he is compassionate, he is considerate. And he treats all his fellow students as brothers and sisters. So ladies and gentlemen, with these words, I welcome all of you once again to this wonderful function and wish all of you a long life of success. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for giving this gala evening such a delightful start. After all, a beautiful message is the best universal welcome. You, indeed, it is true that we will try our best to become competent, compassionate, and cons considerate people in the future. We hope we can continue to live up to your expectations going forward. They say our sense of hearing is what makes it possible for us to enjoy instrumental sounds combined in such a way as to produce beauty of form, harmony, and expression of emotion, which is music. Music heals, music entertains, Music takes us to heaven. It isn't just something that acts as an escape from reality, but it goes way beyond that. It's an ideology. A great song can lift your heart, warm the soul, and bring peace of mind. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together to welcome a rendition of the school choir titled Mangal Geets. Thank you. 
What a mellifluous and soothing performance it was. Indeed, music heals the mind of the most arcane personality out there in the entire universe. Music tickles our nerve to inquisitiveness, creativity, passion, and imagination. Kisi mahan vyakti ne kaha hai, wo surat pe bayan nahi dete jo sirat pe dhyan dete hai. Wo surat pe bayan nahi dete jo sirat pe dhyan dete hai. मत करो ऐसे सूरत से प्यार वो तो आज ना कल बदल जाएगा करके तो देखो किसी की सीरत पे एतबार तुम्हारा हर पल संवर जाएगा तुम्हारा हर पल संवर जाएगा संस्कृति इंसान को सभ्य बनाती है संस्कृति जीवन को समृद्ध बनाती है सो टुडे वी हैव एन अमेजिंग पर्सनालिटी अमंगस्ट अस हु स्टैंड्स एज अ पैराडाइम ऑफ वर्सिटैलिटी एंड वाइवर्सिटी He is our solemn chief guest of the evening, Sir Abhisar Bewria. 
an alumnus of Ravenshaw University, having most of his childhood spent in Katak. Having completed his Masters of Art in Political Science, he has served as a lecturer. Blessed with a distinguished career, Mr. Abasar Beria has started writing columns and articles for local magazines and newspapers. After a brief stint as a college lecturer, he cracked the civil services examination and decided to go for the foreign services instead of staying peacefully in the country as an IAS or an IPS officer at a time when very few people used to opt for that. Mr. Beria credits his interest in traveling and visiting new places for this decision. Representing India in seven different countries, Sir Abisar Beria has dabbled in a band of varied cultures. With a few books to his credit and having returned to his native state after retirement, Sir Beria likes spending time getting involved in literature and other varied activities. He has historically carried out ventures of being an ambassador to Myanmar, Japan, Russia, USA, Sri Lanka, and Madagascar. Sir Abhisar Beuria has been instrumental in collecting various souvenirs as a token of memory from different countries all over the world and has donated some to the original museum of Bhubaneswar as well. Thus enriching the values of universal brotherhood and fraternity. Furthermore, he has been associated with several social, cultural and philanthropic organizations. Can we have a huge round of applause for such an amazing personality? <laughs> so we welcome you wholeheartedly to the land of DAV with honor and pride beaming all throughout our souls. Hence, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome Sir to deliver the Foundation Day lecture with his breathtaking words. I would also request the Kirti House leader, Master Sneha Shishpadi, to kindly escort Sir to the days. Mr. Chairman, esteemed Mr. Satpati, Madam Principal, esteemed guests, my teacher, he was also my teacher for, in, in a college, uh, Sri Ramakant Rath, Mr. Arun Rath, Mr. Panda, and Sarat Babu is here. Uh, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and students. Now, first of all, I would like to extend my greetings on the 52nd anniversary of your school. The school has <coughs> reached excellence, and more than 50 years is certainly a big achievement. Now, that was possible due to what I should expect. It was due to the perseverance of the students, but not only perseverance of the students, proper guidance of teachers and management also. Uh, after all, GAV has a brand name to use the modern marketing technology. It has high credibility. Now, these things could happen because along with uh, you know, teaching and students uh, you know, perseverance, it also, I think, blends modernity with spirituality. That is something very distinct of DAB school. Uh, what is education after all? Uh, education, as very beautifully defined by Swami Vivekananda, 
is a manifestation of perfection that is inherent and already there in a human being. So the role of education is to have an all-round development, not only education degree-wise, but to make a character, a personality, development of a personality, so that he is not only useful to his family or himself, he is also useful to the society and at large to the country. Now this is, this was the ethos, or this was the philosophy in India before. You see, you think of Gurukul uh, system. Gurukul system was also not only imparting knowledge, it was also giving some moral touch to the personality so that they can be very, very useful to the uh, society. So I think this is the thing which we must remember that we have to keep in mind that it should be an all round development of the personality of a student. Now, presently, there is a deviation, what I feel, what I see. You know, the education is becoming very ritualistic. Uh, you go to a school, you get admission at good school or bad school or a poor a school, and you try for a certificate in the school. When you go to the university also, you try to get a good certificate. That is a degree or whatever you may say, doctorate. Uh, this is more of employment-centric. We are all interested in a good result and a good uh, certificate so that we are employable and we get employment very uh, soon and establish ourselves in this. Now, there should be another aspect which has been ignored for last uh, so many decades in India, that is, in education in the family and in the neighbor, by neighbors. You see, family is a nursery, and a child learns a lot of things from family and the neighbors, which uh, he imitates at times them. So in the result, final result, his cultural development takes place in the family. So along with all these things you have in DAV school, uh, please remember, and I Im Im try to impress the uh, guardians, those who are present here, that a lot of things can be taught at that level as a family, and a primary school also, it can be taught. Now, uh, right or wrong, good or bad, what ought to be done, what ought not to be done. These are the philosophies which we, during our time, try to follow. Or that is the society gave, gave us this sense of right and wrong and good and bad and what ought to be done, what ought not to be done. Uh, this is, I find the presentation is blurring. Uh, there is not much of distinction between right and wrong. The youngsters, they don't find that. They are trying to be practical and pragmatic. So the values of right, the sense of right and wrong is uh, no longer there, or it is blurring. I won't say that it is no longer there, but it is uh, uh, blurring. Uh, why these things are necessary? The sense of right and wrong and this, that. Because we are in a threshold of a new civilization. Now a civilization is happened, this progress has happening uh, because of telecommunication revolution and because of the IT development. Now this is changing our whole world uh, and affecting our lifestyle in such a way which we could never imagine, say 10, 15 years back, that it will go this way. Now this technology, why it is so important for us, one has to be associated with, uh, because uh, previously, if there was any revolution or evolution, and it was being fixed, confined to few countries, 
it was uh, few countries, few, few societies. It was, it was taking hundreds of years to go to the other societies, other countries, and things like that. Think of agriculture, the agricultural revolution that uh, humanity first uh, saw. Now, agriculture was first confined to a couple of countries and few societies. It took hundreds of years, you know, to come to other societies and other countries. Same thing happened to industrial revolution also. Because of industrial revolution, you find that so-called developed countries, because the industrial revolution came first to those countries. But what is happening now is, it is rapid and it is global. What is happening in America today, tomorrow, you are all associated with such developments, particularly technology. Come to think of it, one instrument which has changed our lifestyle completely. Uh, and as you know, that geo advertisement, dunya tere mutti mein. So it is true. See, 15 years back, mobile telephone was, you know, 20 years back probably it came to be popular and this, that. But what it can serve, what it can give to each of one us was unthinkable, not imaginable uh, earlier. So this is a thing which we have to be aware of uh, because after all, what is education? Education is, is a platform to create awareness amongst, uh, to an individual and not only uh, awareness because awareness is complementary to progress and modernity. So that is why we have to be very, very careful because as I said, we are the threshold of a new civilization. Now, in this new civilization, uh, the one thing that is very inevitable, that is competition. Competition, your competition will be no longer with international SAI or DAV. It will be the best school in the world, anywhere, and DAV school. So competition is what one thing we have to accept and for to, to, be, to be well equipped with the uh, com competition that you will face, I think you should be also prepared for a proper ground, proper education in your school and college. Because com competition is no longer confined to one town or one city. Uh, it has to be in university states. You see the university in Odisha or in Delhi or they have to compete with Harvard and uh, MIT and other, other Ivy League universities. So this competition is more important because we are also entering to another era where, you know, we are seeing a civilization of interdependence, uh, that which you recently saw that how we are in interdependent, our economy is interdependent uh, because of the war in uh, Ukraine and how the supply sources, everybody wants now to be localized and we will uh, depend on, uh, depend our supply sources either near, near the country or our, to have our own. So both competition and along with it, the best in the world we have to be prepared for and that will be the first thing I think you should keep in mind. Uh, why uh, I remember, uh, uh, I think seven, eight years back in America, some teachers found uh, they wanted to have a new type of school. The school will may, may prepare the students to be world citizens. The syllabus was, uh, was made accordingly. They had to learn foreign languages. They have to visit foreign uh, countries to know new civilization so that they are more competitive and they are, uh, uh, they are also international in their outlook. So this is another thing which I think uh, not only in America, it is going to come everywhere. If we want to survive and survive with dignity, then we have to have a global outlook uh, where you know, you know you are aware of what is happening around and how do we uh, compete. Because in the modern age, or the, the civilization we are going through, you see, if you are not competent, and if you are not efficient, I think there's a little chance of your surviving. Surviving means you can survive, but you'll be nobody in the society or in the globe. 
So along with the competition, I think you have to be competent so that your capability increases. And along with the capability, you will uh, compete and probably excel. Because without excel, why 52 years is so important for you? And I think so. It's because you have excelled for last 52 years. It's a great achievement. It's ex excellence maybe due to teachers and students. But to maintain that, sustain that success story, that's a very big task. And you have uh, rose up to the occasion. Now, uh, in this connection, I would also like to point out to this. Uh, India also preparing itself the new civilization. Uh, you know, now what I was telling you, the technology is so, so adv advanced now. Uh, come to think of it, uh, it is now people are thinking that development without work. There's a uh, wars with a drone, then driverless uh, cars, vehicles. And you have now new thing known as Alexa, who solves most of your problems. You need to, you are requiring a, a taxi, Alexa arranges for you. You want to go to your office in a particular time, so it reminds you that this is the time. You have an appointment with your doctor, she does that. You are a little bored, then you want to listen to some songs, Alexa does it for you. So we have uh, imagined this is not coming, this has not come to India so far in a very limited way, but this is how the Western countries, the Americans and uh, Europeans are also uh, having this, this kind of life. So it is put, puts a different uh, question, whether uh, in such a competition, in such a civilization, we can be equal to the challenge or our response should be uh, adequate for the challenge because if we, our response is not adequate, I'm afraid uh, our dream of making India great or that it is a 21st century uh, age, age, uh, age of Asia, that will be only, you know, on our speeches, rhetoric, it will not uh, help us in any way to uh, proceed further or to make a five trillion economy or to be one of the big powers of the world. So this will not bear unless with this awareness uh, we have here. And now there are two steps also in India they had done. One of them uh, is, is uh, the, the spirit behind a right to education, Mr. Rath, Arun Rath. So actually that was a big revolutionary step you know, to bring education to everyone, particularly the neglected, the marginalized, the poor, those who stay in far up places. So it made a compulsion on the part of the administration of states and others to follow that so that, you know, people, children are dropping out there to be brought back and uh, other students also made it compulsory and some assistance was uh, given. So this is something uh, great and uh, I must, uh, uh, congratulate uh, Arun Rath Prabhu because he was the spirit behind He made that policy in 2006, if I am uh, wrong. <laughs> now, now, the other thing is, it's known as NEP 2020. The new educational policy has been uh, announced and they are going ahead with the new educational policy. I don't know if DAB is a uh, acting accordingly or not. Now there are many recommendations in that, but one of the recommendations in that NEP 2020 is children or the students should learn how to respect their heritage. Because sometimes, you know, like Odisha has a rich heritage, not only uh, built heritage, um, uh, living heritage, then we have uh, intangible heritage, we are not aware of. I'm not blaming you. I'm also not aware of many things. Because somehow, though we had a very self-content culture in Odisha, and uh, we are pioneers in many respects in other, some, some of the fields, but somehow we have lagged behind because we are not aware of it. So one of the recommendations of this NAP 2020 is 
that students should be aware of their own heritage, be it living, be it uh, built, be it uh, dance, music, uh, literature, everything. Our lakes, our mountains, everything is a part of heritage. We should be all aware of it. The other thing in 2020 also recommends the local language should be given importance. It doesn't say that, you know, this will be removed, English will be removed or Hindi will be removed. But it says, because, you know, like our Odia, it's a classical language. Because we are not using it much, it will be a dead language within no time. Because many languages are dying now. In Odisha also many of the languages spoken in tribal areas are dying every year because people don't get encouragement or incentive to speak in their uh, language. I would recommend that you know, as far as possible, uh, though you were reading all in English medium, but be aware of the rich heritage we have in the language and uh, culture. So these two recommendations, I think, are very, very important recommendations in AP 2020. Uh, along with it, uh, they have also made other recommendations how to improve the teaching method and uh, how the students will be more equipped with the modern science and technology. All those things are there, but these are the two uh, things which never before we had uh, thought of or never before it was discussed, but this time it is being discussed. So it is awareness again of uh, our awareness about the heritage and their mother tongue. Uh, this is very, very, very important. Now, uh, as I was telling you, this uh, new civilization and new lifestyle, uh, we can adapt that to be one of the modern man. But while adapting them, let us not lose our identity. There is an identity each one of us has. Identities, that should not get lost in this competition of modernism. Modernism is good because the certain things are inevitable. We can't avoid. But let us take pride in our country. Let us take pride in our state. Let us take pride in our heritage. This is very, very essential. Because particularly DAV school, uh, as I was saying, there's a blending of modernity and spirituality. Just see the founder, uh, Mr. Hansaraj or the Ananda Saraswati, uh, what vision they had, and that too in a, when we are a colony, and there was no scope for giving education in our traditional way, they came forward with this idea. It requires a lot of courage also. So this is something uh, which I, will, I think we should all uh, keep in mind. I don't want to speak much with you. Uh, there are a few things I thought that, you know, we must be very clear what is education is. We must be clear also that it is for the personality all round thing. We must also give emphasis on the uh, education that one child uh, learns from uh, family and neighbors. And we have to be very aware of our uh, culture, heritage. Uh, this is how we should approach the new civilization. Otherwise, uh, heritage, uh, why I say heritage, the Indian heritage is sometimes I feel personally that it is in danger. Uh, what we have seen or what we want to see, uh, it's somehow in the young, nowadays, and it is not given that. Uh, there is no point of comp being very competitive and without your identity. This is very, very essential that we must uh, uh, learn. Uh, so have a good education, all of you, but I hope that some of the points I thought that I will put forth before you for consideration, both for teachers and the management and the students also, uh, so that India becomes one of the greatest nations in the world uh, stage and we contribute for the betterment of humanity. We have that tradition also, that it's, uh, we always think Vasudeva uh, Kutambam. So that also is uh, our philosophy, our past, our contribution to the world in the past. I think we'll again rise up, rise up to the occasion, rise up to the challenge, and contribute constructively 
uh, to the world, uh, world. And there is no doubt that with all this right approach in the education field, uh, we will achieve that within no time. Uh, best of luck to all of you. Thanks for inviting me here. <laughs> and uh, take care. Thank you so much, sir, for enlightening the young minds with such inspirational and motivational words. And indeed, it's true that Vasudeva Kutumbakam is something that we need today. Thank you so much, sir, for instilling us within us the ability to differentiate between spirituality and modernity. Thank you so much, sir, for letting us know the real meaning of education. That education doesn't necessarily come from degrees, but comes from a character, a personality, the values and the virtues that we learn and we inculcate within ourselves. Thank you so much, sir, once again. Once, a legendary philanthropist quoted, I would choose to drown myself in the pool of magnanimity if I get to fulfill the sole purpose of my life. I'm not afraid of an army of lions being led by a ship. I'm afraid of an army of ship being led by a lion. A leader is best when people barely know he exists. When his work is done, his aim is fulfilled. They will say that we did it ourselves. Our esteemed institution, DAV Public School Unit 8, is a gigantic domain in nurturing young minds and igniting the flame of leadership within them. The land of DAV has put its roots deep into the invocation of holistic education imparting multifarious disciplines such as multitasking, adventure, enterprise, and innovation. There is no such field where Davians haven't set their foot into. On the momentous occasion of Foundation Day, this very hall has already been echoed twice by the prodigious UPSC qualifiers, Mrs. Rupa Mishra and Ms. Upasana Mahapatra. And today, we have got yet another eminent and stalwart personality amongst us. He is none other than Master Bishwa Bishruta Tripathi, an alumni of DAV Unit 8 who studied from 1999 to 2011 and did its schooling up to the 12th grade. Being an academically rich student, he was interested in literature, art, painting, and reading books during his school days. After Standard 12, he cleared AIEEE in the year 2011 and got admission into NIT Raukela to pursue BTEC in Electronics and Communication Engineering up to 2015 and has now emerged with flying colors in the UPSC CSC 2021. An embodiment of perseverance, determination, and strong will, Master Bishwa Bishruta Tripathi has worked hard in diverse fields before landing his ultimate dream. From working in PepsiCo, after which he completed his post-graduation in ancient Indian history from Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi, to clearing ORS with rank 1, then OS with rank 13, and finally UPSC 2021 with an All India rank of 232, he has proven it all. He also served as an additional tehsildar in Krishna Prasad from 2021 and is currently posted in Balangir as an OS officer. As we dive into the story of such a successful civil servant, I would request Master Bishwa Bishwata Tripathi to speak a few words of inspiration to the young minds of DAV Unit 8. Esteemed dignitaries, uh, 
and uh, my dear students and uh, uh, actually I, I, I am not a very good distinguished public speaker first let me tell you and uh, I do not have the kind of gift of the gap that many of the dignitaries here have. Uh, I will uh, I just want to say that I feel touched and honored that I have been invited to this uh, school after about 11 years and uh, I feel proud that I am able to I have got an opportunity to return back to my school. Uh, there is a saying in Odia, uh, all must be knowing about Upendra Bhanja and he had uh, told one beautiful line that Jete dure patre padi thilere nabina, jete dure patra padi thilere nabina, chinha ki jaye na jaye bhrukhya nama bina. The meaning of that line is very profound. Uh, no matter how far you go, uh, the leaf, the identity of the leaf is rooted in its uh, tree. The tree, without the tree it has no meaning. Uh, so uh, returning to the school is like a homecoming for me. Uh, I feel like I returned to the home after 11 years. <laughs> Actually I am at a loss of word when I am seeing such dignitaries in front of me. Uh, I have always uh, Read uh, Sir Ramakanta Ratha, he is a very distinguished person, personality and we know uh, he, has got, he has been bestowed with Padma Bhushana and uh, uh, we have read all his works. Tumhe nila koi rangar churi, mat chiri dehi gala, dekhi la bedo ko moon hoi, tumhe raktare bodi thila. We have read all this, I, I may not be exactly able to reproduce what he has written but uh, something has remained in our hearts and that is why I am able to re recollect it right now in the stage. So, uh, to be in presence of him, uh, is a, I am really touched uh, uh, to be here. And uh, um, let me just share one experience here. The kind of uh, uh, struggle that we often have, uh, because you see UPC examination is a very difficult examination. Gradually, it is becoming more and more tough. 99.94% uh, per, uh, of the students, uh, they will fail. It is merely about 0.06. That is a percentage of success in UPSC examination. So I had never thought that I will qualify one day this examination. Uh, my qualifying is also a miracle. Just uh, let me just tell you one anecdote, uh, uh, how I qualified it. So the examination was there and uh, I was actually serving as an additional tehsildar in Krishna Prasad. Uh, I was given the task of, uh, uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, encroachments in Chilika. Like it is one of the uh, most, uh, to say, to put in proper words, it is a fast Ramsar heritage site of in, in India. And it is one of the most uh, famous wetlands. And uh, it has been encroached upon. So there was a high court stricture that we have to remove the encroachments. And I was the additional tahsildar there. The tahsildar had taken leave. I was the in charge tahsildar. So I had no other option. So I had to, uh, go for encroachment, morning 7, I did my encroachment work, I told my sub-collector, sir, I have to uh, go to home because tomorrow I have an examination. And uh, he told, okay, you will go, but there is no one else you have to do, then you have to go. Uh, so I did the eviction-related uh, eviction works. I returned uh, from my eviction work at night 7 o'clock. At that time, there is no way to go to Bhuneshwar because uh, you know the Krishna Prasad block, its geography is such that it is actually separated from uh, Puri, the main road. Uh, uh, the lake comes in between. So I had to go the circuitous way all the way around Ganjam and then I reached uh, home at uh, about 12 o'clock. And uh, I told my uh, parents that I am not able to, I will not be giving the examination. So I just uh, slept. Morning my parents again told, no, you have to give the examination. You have prepared so much and uh, I told I haven't studied for about a week. I was busy in eviction work so I don't remember anything. I am not going to give the examination. And they told me no you have to give. Just compose yourself and give. And I went and I gave and rest is history. I qualified with 232 rank and uh, this is my struggle. So I just want to tell you that whatever be the situation, learn yourself to adapt yourself to the changing circumstances. And uh, see, I didn't get any can, kind of cozy environment as such uh, to uh, prepare. Uh, maybe uh, no coaching institution. I have never joined any coaching institution. 
maybe I developed some of my writing skills when I was studying in JNU. I did my MA in uh, Ancient Indian History. But I have never joined any kind of coaching institution. I was in service when I qualified it. So I will tell you that uh, uh, never ever uh, think that uh, there are constraints that you cannot overcome. Uh, there is no uh, shortcut to success. You cannot simply parachute over the mountain and you will claim that I succeeded uh, in summiting the mountain. You have to do your hard way. And all the best, once upon a time I was there and uh, I was just listening when guests were coming. Today I have been invited to my alma mater. It's a matter of great pride and privilege and I am feeling honored actually to be present in August of such dignitaries. So thank you once again and Bande Utkala Janane, thank you. Thank you so much, Master Bishwa Bishwada Tripathi. You stand as an inspiration for several students who want to achieve great goals in their lives. And it's indeed true that no matter wherever we go, whatever we do, our school will always remain an indispensable part of our identity. Our school will remain a mother who has taught us a lot of things. Our learnings, our teachings, and our experiences all come from our school life only. It seems like a warrior who has come back to his home to express gratitude and inspiration to the generations which will be following him. Kehte hai na, zindagi mein kabhi udas na hona, kabhi kisi baat par nirash na hona. Zindagi hai, sangharsh to chalti hi rahegi. Zindagi hai, sangharsh to chalti hi rahegi. Kabhi haar kar apne zindagi ka andaz na khona. Kabhi haar kar apne zindagi ka andaz na khona. We are all blessed by the Almighty with infinite wisdom, willpower, and an ability to create a change in this world. Great people don't come from great places. They leave behind a legacy to be cherished by generations to come. So here with us, we have yet another ingenious, superbly talented and brilliant personality as an alumnus. He is none other than Master Amrit Anvesh, the pass out of 2018 12th batch of DAV Unit 8, an engineering graduate from NIT Raukela, who's currently pursuing MBA at IIM Calcutta. He has been the state topper of CAT 2021. And let me tell you that CAT exam is one of the toughest MBA exams, which needs an unconventional approach to tackle questions and techniques to manage time. It's the entrance exam for all those aspiring candidates who want to secure a career in management in one of the top business schools in India, including the prestigious Indian Institute of Management. Master Amrit has also achieved numerous accolades in the scholastic as well as co scholastic fields. Whether it be scoring a perfect 96.2% in the 12th board examination or be it securing a KVPY fellowship that led him a gateway to the prestigious ISA Institute, he was a person who believed in turning his dreams into reality. Being a staunch believer in SWOT analysis, he has also ventured into music, photography, basketball, and beatboxing, setting a perfect example of multitasking. Heartiest congratulations to you from the deepest core of every Unit A Davian's heart. But unfortunately, we do not have him with us today, present physically, due to his prior commitments and work obligations. But technology has made it all easier. We can connect with anyone from any corner of the world just by the help of a single computer screen. So here we have the giant screen in front of us where we will be hearing Master Amrit Anvesh talk about his journey, his journey of perseverance, his experiences of being a centurion and leading generations with the motive of creating a change. Let's all listen to him and learn up the best virtues that we need to build up our career as well as our life. Respected principal ma'am, all the distinguished guests on the dais, and to everyone present in the audience, a very warm evening. I am Amrit Anvesh, a proud alumnus of DAV Public School Unit 8. To start off, 
I would like to congratulate my alma mater on the occasion of the 52nd Foundation Day and I feel honored to receive this award on such a great occasion. For this award, I would like to thank my parents who have been with me throughout this journey, my teachers for shaping me into the individual that I am today, and my school for giving me ample opportunity to showcase my skills and grow. And as a message to my young friends, I would like to point out from personal experience to never lose sight of your ultimate goal. Never lose motivation from reasons such as comparison or not seeing growth in your abilities. Remember, it is a process and it takes time and you have to trust the process. On the other hand, you should never become too complacent uh, with small successes that you achieve on the path. As complacency is the enemy of su success. Focus on your goals, trust on your abilities and success will follow soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, Master Amrit Anvesh, for your such exhilarating and motivational words. I hope and I believe that the entire audience present with us today would be learning up great things from him and would wish to apply all of those in the journey coming ahead. Dance is the language of angels to the earthly souls. Today's dance performance is a fusion of Odissi, Bharatnatyam, and Kathak. All the three classical dance forms speak volumes of our class of our culture. At the same time, the graceful moves and beautiful formations of our splendid dancers describe emotions beyond imagination. The elegant costumes, the aesthetics, the facial expressions, and the narratives will surely take us by thrill. This dance recital, with its flawless transition, is a real act that will transfer us to a world of classical dances. We it dance for cheers. We dance for tears. We dance for peace. We dance to express our inner self in the most beautiful way a body with a liberated heart and emancipated mind. Dance speaks when words fail. It is a well-known fact that a dancer's life is a fine blend of impossible and spiritual, all wrapped up in a ribbon of passion. Keeping all these ideas in tune, let's buckle up ourselves, putting our hands together to witness a stupendous dance performance by our dancing divas, titled Nirmit, the creation amalgam. Dance itself is a divine. Nature is a full of divine. It helps to balance the three states of nature like creating, being and dissolving. Ganapati Ganesh Lambodara Sohe Pujachar Nikdanda Chandra 
चंद्रमा लाट राजे ब्रह्मा विष्णु महेश ताल दे धुरपत गावे अति विचित्र गणनाथ आज बुदंग बजावे बुदंग बजावे बुदंग बजावे दुरलाल चढ़ायो अच्छा गज मुख को दो दिल लाल विराजे सुत गौरी हर को हाथ लिए गुड़ लड्डू साई सुरवर को महिमा कहे न जाए लागत हु पद को लागत हु पद को लागत हु पद को संकट को वैरी विघ्न विनाशक मंगल मूरत अधिकारी कोटी सूरज प्रकाश ऐसी छवि तेरी गंड स्थल मद मस्तक झूले शशि बिहारी कोई शरणागत आवे संतति संपति सब ही भरपूर पावे ऐसे तुम महाराज मुको अति भावे गोसावी नंदन निशि दिन गुण गावे
What an exuberant performance it was. Did you enjoy? Wasn't it a power-packed performance by our young dancers? Can we hear a huge round of applause for this magnificent dance performance?
Thank you, everyone. We are honored to have with us the regional director of DAV Institutions, Odisha, Sir Dr. K.C. Satpati. Sir's, in, Sir's contribution in the field of education is phenomenal. He is the architect of DAV Institutions in the state. He stands tall and has been instrumental in popularizing and shaping the DAV institutions, taking them to soaring heights. With a vast experience of around four decades as an educator, he has made DAV a brand in the state. With his vision to provide quality education and academic excellence, he will surely continue to guide us through his constructive spirit and dedication. May I now take the privilege of inviting Sir to the dais to inspire and motivate us through his words of wisdom. Sir, please. May I request Master Ashish Kumar Sethi, the Maitri House leader, to escort Sir. Subhasandhya, good evening ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I extend my heartiest greetings to all the Deviants of DAV Unit 8 for the 52nd Foundation Day. Why Unit 8 for all the Deviants of the state? Because this school was the first school in Odisha established in the year 1971. Now we are 60 in number, and this is the first school which has given the guidance to us to open more number of schools. When the DAV was opened, we have never thought of that we will be able to compete with the missionary school like Stewart and Convent. And another two to three schools were there, those who are doing well. That is ODM, DM Public School and Sainix School. It was our dream to make DAV number one. And we, a group of teachers, principals, because one principal was there at the time, we chalked out the plan how we can give better result to the society. So our journey starts in the year 91, when Mrs. Naik was there with me, and day and night we were working how to take the standard of this institution above all these schools. And I proudly say that this school is doing very well, and I'm very happy, and I congratulate all the teachers, students, and the head of the institution. And I do definitely expect that this is a day when we have to retrospect what we have left and what we have to achieve. So my dear young students and my college teachers, please, add something little what you have achieved today because success is a journey. And in that journey, if you do not add little, little increment, then sometimes you will be complacent and you will not be able to reach at your goal. With this, I convey my sincere thanks to Ipsita Madam, the leader of the team, DAV, Unit 8, and other dignitaries, those who are there, accepting our invitation and coming here. Jai Hind, Bande Utkala Thank you, sir. May I please request you to stay back on the stage? Sir, could you please come back to the stage? Thank you, sir. It was a pleasure to listen. It was a pleasure to listen to your captivating words, as you rightly said, that DAV has become a glorious institute, overtaking many other institutes through the years. Although I would like to mention that it wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for blessings of people like you. Thank you, sir. May DAV continue to shine in the horizon of education as a bright model in inculcating value-based education into the young minds of our nation 
so that they become the committed, compassionate, and competent leaders of tomorrow. Now, I would like to take the pleasure of inviting all the dignitaries to the stage for the release of Onyx. I also request our Honorable Principal Ma'am to accompany them to the stage. Now, now, someone whose tireless efforts, sheer dedication to bring out a masterpiece with glorious publication is what made the publication of Onyx possible. May I request Sir Mr. Satyabrat Sarangi to join the dignitaries on the stage. Your life has purpose. Your story is important. Your dreams count. Your voice matters. You were born to make an impact, to kindle the fire of motivation among the students, to make them believe in themselves, and to tread on the path of achieving success. Every year, the school publishes its newsletter, Onyx. Onyx is a glorious compilation, bringing forward the success stories and acknowledging and celebrating the persistence, determination, constant turmoil, and all those sleepless nights of the students, culminating them to what they are today. Thank you, sir, ma'am, and all the dignitaries. Kindly stay back on the stage for further proceedings. Stay back for further proceedings. What a golden moment it is to witness such amazing personalities standing together on the stage. Faith is a bird that feels the light when the dawn is still dark. Honors and prizes aren't just a mere evidence to hold your achievements, but a getaway to cherish these memories for life and ever. So here I take away the opportunity of calling the vibrant alumnus of our school, Master Bishwa Bishwata Tripathi, the rising beckon of inspiration, hope, and a true trailblazer who has achieved great feats in his life, overcoming hurdles of failure and self-doubt. I would also request the proud parents of Master Bishwa Bishwata Tripathi to kindly accompany him on the days. And here we have Master Vishwa Vishwata Tripathi, who's coming for the felicitation. We also have his proud father with him. So here we have our dignitaries felicitating Master Vishwa with a beautiful bouquet and Uttariya. We have this bouquet in Uttariya for his proud father. Can we have a huge round of applause? We have our dignitaries felicitating Master Vishwa Vishwada Tripathi with a coffee table book, a sapling, a souvenir, and a memento containing citations. 
May I request, ma'am, Ms. Subhashri Rao to kindly read out the citations. Spreading the wings of your talents to reality, you carved out a way with all probity amid myriad of labyrinths having all alacrity, you are the one to radiate your capability. Dear Bishwa Bishruta Tripathi, you are the paragon to behold, standing tall as the epitome of perseverance with a heart determined and spirit indomitable to uphold. Your magnanimity stands everlasting igniting the minds of many through such a splendid achievement. You are the glory to dazzle our aura. Glory to you at such a loftiest reach. You are the bright star in the constellation of T.A. White's heartiest congratulations. Thank you so much, ma'am. And now I would request Master Vishwa and his proud father to kindly resume their seats. So here we have them taking a beautiful snapshot of this captivating moment. I would now request Master Vishwa and his proud father to kindly resume to their seats. It's indeed a proud moment for the entire fraternity of DAV Unitate to have such glorious and marvelous alumnus with us who have actually set up a lot of trends, have made the paths really inspiring and motivating for generations to come. Next, we have the proud parents of Master Amrit Anvesh, a true trendsetter of persistence, toil, and greed. His sinister goals and achievement impart the message, never get too content, never lose motivation, and always strive to be a better person version of yourself. I would request the proud parents of Master Amrit Anvesh to kindly come upon to the days to achieve and to get the felicitation on his behalf. I would also request our esteemed dignitary, Sir Mr. Ramakant Rath, to kindly accompany all of the dignitaries for the felicitation. Sir, please. So here we have the proud parents of Master Amrit Anvesh being felicitated with a beautiful bouquet and an uttariya. It's indeed the dream of every Deavian to make their parents feel proud with their achievements. And that is exactly what Master Amrit Anvesh has truly achieved. Master Amrit Anvesh will also be felicitated with a souvenir, a memento containing citations, a coffee table book, and a sapling. Due to his absence, we have his proud parents receiving the token of love and remembrance from our school. I would now request Ma'am Ms. Subhashri Rao to again read out the citations. You stand a pole apart for selfless deeds with a conviction in establishing the holy creed. Dear Amrit Anvesh, you are the glory of magnanimous incarnation, an impeccable figure 
with our topping property. May you treat on this road in perpetuation, in entitling your profundity as a grace. Hail to you for illuminating the Tuavian race, embarking on righteousness with all harmony, heartfelt congratulations on such a remarkable feat of achievement. Thank you so much, ma'am. So here we have the proud parents. We will speak for 30 seconds only. Father. Okay, so here we have an amazing moment because we have the proud father of Master Amrit who would like to share to the audience. So please. Good, in good evening to all the dignitaries on the dais and the parents, students present here. Proudly saying, we are the parents of a proud Dievian. He's my son, Omri Thanwes. Ethiki Kohibi, the Dievi Taku Sanskar Sikhichi, John Madame Ponkori Kohutle, the Omrit Tavulia Pila, the Amo Dievi Poduta Bulia Gorbo Kuruchu, Mukali Naimara, Apro Gorbo, the Bot Durokotam, Ethiki Kohibi, the unit eight Dievi Sikhichi, Taku Sanskar. I am a parent, so he is a proud feel. Karuchu, the he is a dear hian. So youngsters, manangku, mugutiye podo kohi bi. You all dear hian. Believe the war with dear hi. That is D for dedication, A for achievement, and all together will be the victory for you. D A V. Success is a part of life. And this is the educational success in your life which lead you to achieve like a legend which are there on the dais. I am a Hindu dharma vishwas karu tetri sakuti devo devi. I am waiting to be a samaste ho chanthi amopai devo devi. A legend to the kuchanthi emane amopai inspiration. Emane amopai live asirvat do chanthi. जो आशीर्वाद पाई आमे माने ऊपर को उठुछु म पुओटी जिमिति आमर यंग आईएएस ऑफिसर आजि कहिले विश्व बाबू जे परीक्षा दवा को मोर इच्छा नथिला आमो पेरेंट्स बाध्य कले सेम एग्जांपल म पुओ पई हेथिला से जीआरई स्कोर 327 आउट ऑफ 340 अराउंड 97% करी न्यूयॉर्क यूनिवर्सिटी साउदर्न कैलिफोर्निया यूनिवर्सिटी एंड वर्जिनिया यूनिवर्सिटी रे सिलेक्टेड हेथिला Higher study Korea Pine. Jetabale Kate T. Asila Kate two zero two one Kohuchi Javapa Mukoro eta the V. I am a parent in several Kohilu. Form the Pokiju, Secretary Agricola Home, form the Pokiji, who Porikati Hidia. Kinto Amaku Havino Tilu, the Bogonka Asirba Tapa Etila, All India Rankers three state topper Ege Asila, and Eta Kevolo Mukohibi. The Ajuroi Foundation Dere DAV Taro Foundation go a test strong Goritilla, John Tipai Tapai, as the achievement Asila. Thank you all. Thank you so much, sir. Your words have made our nerves in burning sensation. So here we have his proud father and mother having a beautiful snapshot. Now I would request the proud parents of Master Amrit Anvesh to kindly resume their seats. This very Foundation Day is special and every Davian of Unit 8 must rejoice as we have with us another erudite son of the soil, the winner of the third highest civilian honor award, Padma Bhushan Shri Jukta Ramakantha Rath an IS officer of 1957 batch, who has not only filled the position of Chief Secretary, Government of Odessa, but could successfully continue his writing career simultaneously. To his credit, he has been conferred with the Sahitya Academy Award in 1977, Vaishnava Samman in 1990, and Saraswata Samman in 1992. In February 2009, Sir has been awarded Sahitya Award 
fellowship by the Central Sahitya Academy. Moreover, he happens to be the fifth Odia writer to be so honored. We are extremely delighted to have you with us today, sir. Hence, without any further delay, I would request all our esteemed dignitaries to kindly felicitate, sir. He is also being felicitated with an Uttariya. A beautiful plant sampling. Can we have the audience roaring in thunder with their claps? We also have a beautiful painting being given to Sir. It's such a proud moment for DAV Unitate to have such an eminent personality with us. So your presence has actually made the Foundation Day even more special. At last, but not the least, we have the chief guest of our evening, Sir Abhisar Beuria, a quintessential icon of benevolence, a man with vision, a personality with a charismatic aura, who has been kind enough to deliver the Foundation Day lecture. He's also been greeted with a sapling, an uttariya, and a beautiful painting. Can we have a huge round of applause for Sir as well? He gave a phenomenal speech today. Is being greeted with a sapling. So we promise you that all the DAVs will work hard day in and night to make your dream of Vasudeva Kutumbakam turn out true. Thank you so much and now I would request all our esteemed dignitaries to kindly reoccupy the respective positions. To quote Swami Vivekananda, Yog Jeevan ka wo darshan hai, jo manushya ko uske atma se jodta hai. Yoga is the science of activating our inner energies to such a vibrant and exuberant state where your body, mind and emotions function at their highest peak. Yoga is a beautiful physical, mental and spiritual practice that is adopted in India. Well, what is yoga? Is it just an exercise form? Is it a religion, a philosophy, an ideology, or something else entirely? The word yoga means union. Union means to experience the universality of who you are. Yoga is essentially a practice for your soul, working through the medium of your body. Yoga is a group of physical, mental, and spiritual practice of discipline. It is something that feeds our soul. It is a physical practice which relieves us of many ailments. It is a beautiful exercising practice that links the soul to the nature and keeps us fit, active and maintains flexibility. So without further ado, let the stage be set with the splendid yoga performance by our yogic enthusiasts, Aesthetic Asanas.
Namo Namo Shankara, Bholenath Shankara. Trust me, I was transported back to the hills of Kedarnath. What a captivating and scintillating performance that was. Indeed, we were reconnected with our yogic roots thanks to our brilliant performers. They say life isn't a matter of milestones, but of memories. Be thankful to all the small victories as you work towards the large milestones as it is not the end game that matters, but it is how you got where you are. As I said earlier, 51 years, indeed a nostalgic moment, but I speak for everyone when I say that DAV United is as young as ever. So right now, I humbly request our beloved Principal Ma'am, come Assistant Regional Officer, Ma'am Ms. Ipshita Das, to render the expression of gratitude and at the same time take this opportunity to thank Ma'am for her visionary ideas and everything she has done to make this event a grand success. Thank you. Ma'am, please. Thank you, dear Bhumika. Indeed, when we give cheerfully and accept gracefully, everyone is blessed. For last more than five decades, DAB Unit 8 has been contributing cheerfully in the field of education, accepting gladly all that have come on its way for the last 51 years, making its very existence a synonym with the journey of excellence and success. And finally, here we are today celebrating the 52nd Foundation Day of this very prestigious institution, DAB Public School, Unit 8, Bhubaneswar. Good evening and Namaskar. Living in a state of gratitude is always a gateway for grace. At the outset, I most humbly would like to express my profound gratitude to the Almighty Lord Jagannath for making this very event happen on the campus today and for all that we have today, and for all that the future holds for us 
from today onwards. I, on behalf of the entire DAV Paribar, would like to express my deepest gratitude and thanks to the esteemed chief guest of the occasion, Sir Sri Abbasar Beria, whose words of wisdom, experience, is definitely going to leave imprints in the minds of each and every Deviants for years to come. We are forever indebted to you, sir. Once again, my sincere thanks. This very evening of 27th August, here on the campus of Dev United, it's fortunate enough to have the August presence of Padma Bhosan Sri Ramakan Taratha, who, despite all his health issues, could make it today to join us, bless us, to carry forward our journey of excellence ahead. We shall forever remain grateful to you, sir. There has always been a very few important persons in our life to whom we always look up to with deep sense of gratitude and admiration. And they have never left us alone and always lent their support, cooperation, guidance, and advice at the hours of our need, making us comfortable and confident. They are the chairpersons of our sister concern, Honorable Sri Madan Panda sir, Sri Sarachandra Mishra sir, and Sri Arun Kumarath sir. All our sincere thanks and gratitude to each one of you sirs. Today, our campus is illuminated with the achievements and success story of two of our star alumni, Master Bishwa Bishrut and Master Amrit Anneshan. I still keep on saying it, Master Bishwa and Master Amrit, because wherever they reach, still, they shall be treated as masters for this alma mater, along with their parents. And I'm definitely hopeful that their success story, their words of inspiration will keep motivating my young minds to carry forward their journey in days to come. And the beauty of this very celebration has been multiplied with the presence of my colleague principals from the AB institutions of the Twin City. And I do not find any reason to express my thanks, but I simply place my demand for all your support and cooperation in days to come. From the core of my heart, and on behalf of DAB United Paribar, I express my sincere thanks and gratitude to all the esteemed members of the School Managing Committee, Parent-Teacher Coordination Committee, teachers and members of Sister Concern, our proud alumni, and all our well-wishers and special invitees, including the Ezi Sar and Madam Ezi, who have been kind enough to join us this evening to make this Foundation Day celebration a memorable moment to cherish forever. My sincere thanks and gratitude to our friends from print and electronic media for joining us and for giving us a wide coverage as and when there is an opportunity. My dear students, those who have joined us in this very hall and those who have joined us witnessing this live streaming of this very event, I must tell you that this very occasion is no less than all your birthday celebration. Remember, it is equivalent to 3,800 birthday celebrations taking place at one point of time. <laughs> and while we rejoice, while we rejoice over the occasion for you, it's time to remember the ones who have planted this very sapling and those who have nurtured the sapling for more than five decades. Realize its worth and stay committed to give back to the society with each passing day of your life. Thanks to each one of you for being an indispensable part of our life. My sincere thanks and gratitude to all the esteemed parents and guardians of my students, without for which invaluable support from time to time, the journey till date might not have been possible. My thanks and regards to each one of you. If there is any icing on the cake, if there is any icing on the cake and a little fragrance in the air, 
and any glory in this foundation day celebration. That's the breathtaking performances of my young friends through the Mangal Geet, Nirmit, and the aesthetic asanas. Dear children, after two years of pandemic, it's only you who have brought back life to the campus. You all shall forever remain our priceless possessions. Thanks to each one of you for your indomitable spirit, your sense of involvement, and love for your alma mater. You deserve from all of us gathered in this hall, you all deserve our kudos and appreciation. The active involvement of the entire school cabinet to organize this event needs a special mention. You shall forever remain close to our heart. Our blessings are there for each one of you. The foundation day of Unit 8 is never confined to an individual institution. It is an occasion to commemorate and rejoice the beginning of the DAB movement in the state of Odisha and the person who has steered this movement in the correct direction, taking it to an enviable position, rendering more than four decades of selfless service in the portals of DAB is none other than our very own regional director, Sir Dr. K.C. Satpati. <laughs> Sir, certainly we have no words to express our thoughts of happiness and gratitude for your presence with us today. The heart that gives thanks is always a happy one. Today in the morning, our day started with a holy havan, with prayers to dispel darkness and ignorance from the lives of everyone around us. In the presence of our very own manager of the school, Sir Dr. D. N. Mishra, and our very own chairman, Sir Sri Vijay Kumar Patnaik. In absentia, while I express my sincere thanks and gratitude to Dr. Mishra, I would like to express my warmest gratitude to Chairman Sir for his enthusiastic participation and collaboration in all our activities. Your presence, Sir, and words of wisdom could create a difference in our lives. We are forever grateful to you, Sir. Last but not the least, cheers to my own team for all their efforts, small and big, without which this very celebration might not have been possible. Without which, this celebration would not have had the color that is, it has today. May all of us enjoy the heavenly blessings to carry forward this wonderful journey in the field of education with greater commitment and conviction. As this very celebration comes to an end, I would seek all your goodwill and blessings for all our future endeavors. Once again, thanks and gratitude to everyone present here. Thanks and Namaskar.